Now, when we come to the part where I say you may kiss the bride, you may kiss the bride, but don't stick your tongue in her mouth. <laughs> Y'all got a song? How about Love Me Tender? I can play that. <laughs> Love Me Tender would be great. Now, the way we normally do this, we have the bride's side, and then we have the groom's side. But since the bride ain't got nobody coming, and the groom has got far too many people coming, well, I don't see no problem with the groom's side sharing the bride's side. Do no. you, Mother? I don't have a problem with that. But, uh, honey, you know, it would be good if you had somebody come. You know, is it a sign of good faith? Well, I don't have anybody, except for Tommy and my friends. You have no family? Well, I'm working on changing that. Mrs. Harmony, we're all the family this little angel's ever gonna need. <laughs> I'm not feeling very well, and this bitch is starting to piss me off. So while you all blather on, I'm gonna go outside and get some air. Um, uh, Reverend, well, sorry. Uh, she's gonna go out and get some air? Yeah. Given her delicate condition, she just needs a few minutes to get it together. She'll be okay. What are you doing here? What am I doing? Well, a moment ago I was playing my flute. This moment, I'm looking at the most beautiful bride these old eyes have ever seen. Gonna be nice? I've never been nice my whole life. But I'll do my best to be sweet. Hmm. I always told you your sweet side is your best side. I guess that's why you're the only one who's ever seen it. See, you got a bun in the oven. Knocked up. Jeez Louise. That young man of yours sure doesn't believe in wasting time, does he? To each his own. However, all cockwalkery aside, I am looking forward to meeting your young man. I happen to be more or less particular who my gal marries. You want to come to the wedding? Only if I can sit on the bride's side. You'll find it a bit lonely on my side. Your side always was a bit lonely. But I wouldn't sit anywhere else. You know, I had the loveliest 
a dream about you. Oh, here's Tommy. Call me Arlene. You must be Tommy. Uh-huh. Arlene's told me so much about you. Honey, you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Tommy, I'd like you to meet my father. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God, this is great. I'm so glad to meet you, sir. Oh, Dad. The name's Bill. Well, it's great to meet you. Bill, uh, Arlene told me you couldn't make it. Surprise. That's my pop for you. Always full of surprises. Well, in the surprise department, <laughs> the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. <laughs> Sean, some of us have places to be. So do. Look, we got to go through this one more time. So, uh, why don't you have... S oh, my God. What am I thinking? You should give her away. Tommy, that's not exactly Daddy's cup of tea. I think Father would be much more comfortable sitting with the rest of the guests. Oh, really? That's asking a lot. Oh. Okay. Well, forget it. But how about we go out to dinner tonight and celebrate? Only on the condition that I pay for everything. Deal. We gotta do this now. Can I watch? Oh, absolutely. Have a seat. Which is the bride's side? Right over here. Find me sadistic. Well, I'll bet I could fry an egg on your head right now if I wanted to. No, kiddo. I'd like to believe you're aware enough, even now. Know that there's nothing sadistic in my actions. Or maybe towards those other jokers. But not you. No, kiddo. At this moment, this is me and my most. Masochistic. Bill, it's your baby. <laughs> 